All right, it's recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome to CAG Radio. This is the second podcast uh, that started last week. So today we are going to talk about multiple topics. We're going to introduce, first of all, uh, today's uh, topics, which is right now, what I'm doing right now. Then we're going to have uh, Zombie Fortress, uh, what kind of uh, Zombie Fortress you'd like to see in beta, uh, what you want to see changed, stuff like that, which I actually posted in the social group, and you can still ask me questions uh, on the IRC. Then we're going to have a live question and answers, which we had last time. And finally, we will have a giveaway, which I will say exactly what, what it contains uh, at, at the end, I believe. I think that's what's gonna, I'm, I'm, eh, what I'm going to do. Uh, to answer Fate's question, this will be recorded and uploaded later. Yes. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can hear it. There we go. So, guys, uh, what I guess if you have never been to Cat Radio before, Cat Radio is uh, a little things of music, talk shows, which I'm doing right now, and events, which are giveaways, games, and uh, stuff like that. So we're going to have a bit of everything today. So first of all, hope you, all of you are doing well. I can't really see anything right now. Post some stuff in, in, the, in the IRC channel, just like that. Post everything you want. So let's see. Guys, um, I am going to post a thread here. I'm going to need some answers to this que- to a few questions I asked on the social group, which is right here. No, you're not doing okay. Okay. Uh, there's actually there is a delay as always between what I say and what you'll actually hear. So I post links, and it involves something you haven't heard yet. Well, that's just normal. Anyway, guys, let's start by the main topic today. It is Zombie Fortress. On the social group, I ask, what do you think of Zombie Fortress? What changes would you want to do with it? Do you want to see Zombie Fortress in beta and with what changes? So, I have gotten two replies on the social group, and I expect to see some a bit more replies on the uh, on the RC channel. I hope that uh, people will do that. Uh, yes, that is me talking right now. So, as I said, Zombie Fortress. Uh, well, well, first of all, I'm going to say what I think of it. Zombie Fortress uh, was developed a couple, I think, a couple months back, maybe a year. Uh, back on King Arthur's Gold Classic, uh, and it came with uh, it was pretty. I think it was pretty anticipated in the community. And the problem is when it came out. Uh, honestly, for me, it was kind of disappointing. Just as you know, the AI wasn't very good, and there was quite a few glitches and all that. But again, um, you know, the, it was an alpha after all. Uh, and the, but then I asked you guys on the social group, what did you think of uh, of uh, of Zombie Fortress? So we're gonna go first of all with the forum replies, and then I'll go to your replies. Um, on the IRC channel. So, Wandermark said, Zombie Fortress in beta. Absolutely. I would love to see some deeper mechanics be introduced with a transition like that. Uh, so he mentions hunger system, trees that won't regrow, schematics buried underground, blah, blah, blah. Basically, what he means is like to make a harder zombie fortress, uh, something that is uh, more difficult, something that really uh, makes you like actually like scared, let's say, scared of the zombies, try to make you survive more, and uh, not just... Uh, just brag about how many days you lasted by camping in a, in a cave or in a, in a flying tree, something. Then Galen agrees, and he also says that he'd like to see more zombies. Yes, more zombies is definitely something good. I think that if they add more zombies, there should be better AI, first of all, because AI was always a problem, to be honest, uh, with the zombies. Let's go here really quickly. Uh, will zombies and dinosaurs be separate? Dinosaurs don't exist. Shh. They don't exist. Um... Okay, so Kuji posts some good things here. Uh, doesn't care for zombies. CTF, RTM, and stuff are better. Um, yeah, I guess that is that does uh, depend on what you think of uh, like what kind of gameplay style you prefer. Zombies is a really slow uh, game mode compared to other other types of games. Um, then maybe as a modded game, yes. So well, this is the whole kind of the whole point of the. Um, uh, that's kind of the whole point with uh, what is it called? with Zombie Fortress and with the scripting build that you can pretty much do anything you want. So I'm not even sure. I don't remember hearing the devs saying that they're going to develop Zombie Fortress or not. Uh, it'll mostly be the job of the modders to do it. Uh, dinosaurs, yeah, no, but they don't, don't worry. Don't worry, they, they don't exist. They're hidden somewhere. It's part of, it's part of a long running gag. Uh, will there be a classic Zombie Fortress and a premium Zombie Fortress? Um, I believe I heard that classic after the beta fully releases, there will be a classic version of Zombie Fortress on King Arthur's Gold Alpha, and then uh, we will have uh, possibly a modded Zombie Fortress. I have no idea how exactly they're going to implement it in the full game. It wasn't actually uh, said officially. Let's refresh this page. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so nothing here. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, well, can't script light, can't script water, can't script scoreboard, and can't script cast chat. That is kind of uh, kind of the problem right now. But then again, you know, this is like st stuff has to be hard coded, I guess. Um, that's kind of the problem right now. And also, you know, modding isn't fully uh, fully uh, supported from what I heard. And what EJ said is correct. There will be a full uh, classic thing. There will be a, a full, yes, classic will be completely free. So basically everything you have uh, in premium for King Arthur's Gold Classic will be uh, for uh, will be for all full free players. <laughs> uh, let's see. So guys, continue posting some questions. I'm going to be browsing the forums a bit just to see some possible answers or some discussions about Zombie Fortress. Uh, let's see. Even the heads. Um, I'm not sure about that, actually. Yeah, yeah, I guess the heads. EJ says it's correct. I mean, trust EJ more than me, actually. That's probably a better idea, because I'm not going to be fully trustworthy. Uh, and that's my job, actually, to feed you false information. So here we go. So this is actually a very short topic, really, because there's not much to talk about in Zombie Fortress, uh, sadly. Uh, just because, you know, it's not really a good uh, mode for now. <laughs> uh, guys, continue, continue posting stuff on the IRC. It makes me laugh. It's, it's, fun, to, it's fun to read. Let's see. Uh, let's look around. Okay, so then I asked. This is something separate, uh, but I might as well ask right here, uh, which is, who would you like to guess on the CAG radio? I've gotten multiple replies saying they'd like to see uh, MM and Getty. Which is are kind of like the two obvious answers, uh, but then again, you know, I haven't really, I haven't really given a lot of thought about. It. So there's people asking, you know, Fred X for the about the air oil. People talking about Warfork uh, for laughing. I think something about something about joking with about his accent. So I don't really remember exactly what he said. Uh, why does the map always get hold? Blackie, stop asking those type of questions there. Oh, okay, interesting question here. So I'm, I'm looking at the I'm looking at what's on the IRC right now. So I have Shad, which yeah, that could be interesting, and he has a better time zone than me. Uh, yeah, a lot of these people actually are kind of difficult to to get on because of the time zones. Those damn time zones. So EJ asks if I were to choose to fuck Angelina Jolie with no arms or Jessica Alba with no legs, I have to choose one. Well, um, well, let's consider recent news that uh, you know Angelina Jolie uh, had did something to prevent uh, breast cancer. So technically, she has no more tits. So, um, well, honestly, I wouldn't probably just having uh, having to choose something where they are mutilated. I probably wouldn't probably wouldn't choose either of them. But if I had to, it would probably be Jessica Alba. Anyway, um, right, so that's kind of a weird question. Uh, MM is the same time. No, MM is actually, uh, I think, one or two hours ahead of me. He, I'm not sure he's actually in my same time zone. I think no, he is not in my in my time zone. So I'm in France right now, and he is in Poland, if I recall correctly. And so there's a little time zone difference there. Uh, question: Blue or red? Uh, blue. Simply, I won't even give an answer why. I'm not really, I'm not really sure why. Yeah, so like I said, uh, I heard that 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 I You guys sure that France and Poland are in the same time zone? Well, actually, that might be true. I'm honestly really not sure. Oh, well, whatever. I mean, yeah, I can always get MMM. It might still really be easier. Oh, what? What? Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, is it better now? 
Yeah, this time zone, uh, I was talking about time zone. This microphone is kind of difficult to, to like program correctly because of how difficult it is to get any sound from it. Let's see, so there's a lot of static and rest in peace. <laughs> I use headphones, but good thing I can't hear anything. Uh, actually, I should probably put my, my telephone. That might, that might have been the fault of the telephone. I'm just going to put it far away. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's better now, right? Uh, so, okay, so this is better. Uh, are we secretly MM library? No, I'm not MM, sadly. Or actually, I don't think I would want to be MM just because of how boring it must be to code and stuff like that. Uh, let me see, RC. Well, I'll increase the I'll increase the volume again, and you'll tell me how good it sounds. I'm slowly increasing it as much as possible. Okay, so actually, EJ asked a cool question here. Uh, oh shit. I might have asked. Uh, might have put it a bit too too loud. Are Nolan's movies good? Uh, which Nolan movies are you talking about? I like the all, I like the three Batman movies. And in, as for Inception, uh, uh, let's see. Inception. I, I think I watched a bit of it, and then I did not. I probably didn't, I don't think I finished it. Probably fell asleep. But from what I heard, it's not a bad movie. So I mean, I'll watch it eventually and give you my full opinion at that point. But I think that all three Batman movies are good. They are actually they're very good movies. Uh, Batman Begins and Batman: The Dark Knight are probably better than uh, than the than the last one. Uh, what's the most illegal thing that I've done? Really? I mean, I don't think I did anything illegal. Really, I'd I'd have to think about that since I don't I I don't do a lot of illegal stuff. Batman versus Iron Man. Uh, well, actually, it's true that actually, when you consider Batman versus Iron Man, uh, they're both in the same type of category. You know, two rich guys that build stuff. Um, I'd go for Batman, but no, Iron Man does have like a, a really impenetrable suit. I don't. Uh, do you know any good torrent trackers? No, because I don't. I, I I don't have. I don't pirate, so I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about that. I don't use torrent. I don't actually. I don't. I don't torrent at all. Uh, let's see. Come, come on, ask more questions because Zombie Fortress is boring. Let's ask ask me some other questions about everything. No, Black, you did not watch Star Trek because it's not freaking out in France yet, and I'm really it's like I think it's out in eleven days. That's uh, yeah, in in, le in around a week, it'll be out. <laughs> I don't torrent. That's because I don't torrent. That's that's just it. Gliders. Gliders in beta? Let's see. Uh, like, in, like, yes, and then there's this whole, now there's this whole debate about comic book heroes. Who is the best? Batman is the best in everything. Because so I'm reading through your, your, your stuff here. Okay, so like that's this is a beta question. Uh, as a balance measure, who would uh, like? Would you put gliders? Yeah, I think gliders could be cool, but then you'd have to try it out. Uh, okay, so Lobo or Batman? Uh, that is a hard question that you're asking. The Lobo is pretty badass, to be honest. Let me just look at him for real quick. Uh, and I believe, I'm not sure, as again, I don't read a lot of comics anymore. I believe he beat Batman once. Or he did something against, well, he was fight. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Again, like I said, I did not fight, uh, what am I saying? I did not fight Batman. Of course I didn't fight Batman. Uh, I did not read a lot of comic book heroes anymore. Uh, let's see, Superman, Superman is overpowered, so, I mean. Not that he's overpowered, but I just find him to be completely out of balance against, uh, Against what are they called? Uh, against you know the rest of the Justice League, for example. Uh, would I go for gay for Getty? I, I I answered that question before on the previous one. Um, uh, Bowman versus Batman. That doesn't count because there's no actual. Uh, 
There's no, there's no actual comparison between those two heroes. One of them is not a hero anyway. Um, Lobo versus Batman. I think I have to say Lobo is pretty badass. But I don't know if I'd if I'd if I would have to choose him over Batman. But hell, I mean, I'm just I just googled his, a couple of pictures of him right now, and he is really really cool. Uh, then, uh, how long have you played CAG, and how did you find out? Uh, I've played it for a couple, I think since 2011 now, but I only bought a premium account and joined the forums in 2012, May 2012 to be exact. And it was also, uh, like, on and off. Godfather 1 or Godfather 2? Uh, I'll, I'll just go for Godfather 1, because it's been, it's been a while since I've watched them, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Would you have butt sex with transsexual who still has a penis but looks like a very beautiful woman? Um, well, if it's like, if you turn her around, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I, that's not really something that I'd think would happen. Or at least I don't. I, I hope it wouldn't happen, to be honest. Um, have I watched Seeds of Arkham? Yeah, send me a link, uh, because I might not remember the title exactly. Send me a link, and, and I'll tell you if I, if I watched it or if I'd ever heard of it. Uh, did you know any other games from MM? Ah, good question. Soldat, R, Crimson Glory, Link Dead. I have heard of uh, Soldat, R, and Link Dead. I never played any of them, though. Uh, yeah, I, I might go back and maybe download Soldat or something. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, there's going to be an interesting dungeon question here. Okay, shoot. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna answer like for this. I'll I'll leave this dungeon question until it's done. Um, Vayne asks if you're walking down the dark alley, a shitty character asks if you want candy. What do you do? Uh, I'd probably first of all, I wouldn't be walking uh, in a dark alley at night, and uh, I don't think I would uh, talk to the shitty character at all. I'd probably either. Uh, beat him up or walk away, something like that. I don't know. You ask questions that probably won't happen. Uh, let's see. Yes, I should try to solve that. Uh, so you're saying, if I have a party, like who do I want in a party, an elf whore or a dwarf warrior? Uh, well, I mean, if I'm going to fight in a dungeon, I might also just have the dwarf warrior, no? Okay, that's yeah. I have to check uh, your link to Seeds of Arkham. Uh, you have ten candies. Do you exchange them or eat? If this is a question about candy, what is it, what is the game called already? Candy Candy Box. Uh, I will not have an answer for that because I never played it. I escaped it. Uh, there was so much talk about it on the Kaga on the Kaga RC. I just didn't, I I did not play it. Uh, beat him up for getting candy. Should Nolan make Batman 4? Well, first of all, Nolan said, I think, that he would not make another Batman movie. And if he did, it would probably not fit with the end of The Dark Knight Rises, which I won't spoil here unless everyone watched it. Um, but yeah, I don't think... I, I, don't really, well, I don't really want to see Nolan... Uh, I don't want to see Nolan uh, make a, a fourth Batman movie. I want to see another... Uh, what I, if I, what, I have to see a Batman 4, it would not be a reboot... Uh, it would not be a reboot. It would uh, probably be not be a uh, from Nolan. I think what what we want to see in a Batman movie is a like just no no origin story. Just have Batman just put him with a good actor and fight him fight, make him fight some villains that have not been seen in Batman movies before. Uh, so that's the Riddler. Uh, let's see, the Penguin was already put there. Uh, Two Face. No, Two Face was in Dark Knight. Well, okay, we'll just put a lot of the, the unknown villains or just. Uh, uh, Killer Croc or stuff like that. I'm just put, I'm just c citing some of the most popular ones, but like people like Deadshot or or uh, or Deathstroke. Let's see, uh, Candy. <laughs> okay, so someone someone sent me a link to Candy, the Candy Box game. I'll I'll try it out eventually. For what amount of money would you give someone a blowjob? A million. Uh, and then I don't even know if I'd do it anyway. 
Uh, Nerf uh, Jim, I'm uh, my name is Liber. I'm the one talking right now. Nightwing is pretty cool. I, yes, Batman Beyond in a in a full movie would be really really nice to see. Uh, but it'd have to be really well done because for like I I remember watching Batman Beyond in cartoon like the the cartoon thing. It was okay. Uh, but it'd have to be really good as a movie. It, they'd have to like get a good casting and really a good director. Uh, let's see. New Superman Superman movie opinion. Man of Steel. Honestly, from the trailers I've watched, Man of Steel looks nice. Uh, I remember Zack Snyder is involved. Christopher Nolan is involved, uh, but not too involved for the people that did not like the Batman movies. Which you know, obviously, I don't. I don't really know why. I thought they were really good movies. And they are really good movies. You can just see from ask the majority of people they'll like it, uh, especially the Dark Knight. But yeah, uh, it's not out yet. I think I don't think Man of Steel is out, and when it is, I will be sure to watch it at some point. Uh, oh, I did not see that there were so many questions I were asked here. Um, who would I like narrating my life? Morgan Freeman. If every member from the CAC community asked you out on a date, whom would it, would you go out with? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. That sounds weird. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Man, start, like, I have to go through all of these. Uh, yes, EJ, there was a Batman Beyond movie. It was animated, but it was a movie. It was called Return of the Joker, I think. Uh, how long has he been broadcasting? I've been broadcasting for a couple minutes now, I think. Oh, there's going to be an interesting name, like an interesting thing here. Liber, let's get to serious questions that will make you uneasy. Who is the better, the best of the best, the only one, the best knight of CAG? Wow. Well, to be honest, I have not seen a lot of people play these days. Um, when I play, I'm pl I play quite a bit of beta these days. So, if we're talking about beta, I'd have to say Monstery, simply because he's really good right now but he's the like if we're talking about best night in general uh i don't i don't know I, i'm trying i'm trying to avoid this question sort of uh <laughs> uh i re i remember seeing like a lot of names being mentioned uh i have to see I, I like i said i have not seen a lot of them play in a long time nk king asks what's my favorite game not counting cag uh, my favorite game would actually be a series, and it is Mass Effect. That I, that would probably be the top of my head. If I had to choose one game, it would probably be Mirror's Edge because it was just completely different from everything I've ever played before. Uh, well, I mean, it, like I'm sort of exaggerating here, but like Mirror's Edge was really incredible, uh, and I think there's even rumors about a sequel that are going to be announced at E3, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, I'd have to say Mass Effect, Mirror's Edge, and... Uh, I guess maybe the Elder Scrolls series in general is really good. If I had to choose one game in there, I'd probably choose Morrowind or Oblivion. Uh, but again, you know, like I like a lot of games. So you ask me my favorite game, I will answer the one that comes to the, that's the most memorable for me, uh, which has been like some stuff I spent the most time on. But I could also give you like Pokemon. I like Pokemon when I remember playing it so long ago. Uh, let's see. Um, so there's a lot of things here about Monstery is bad. <laughs> Maverick for Best Night. Yes, Maverick. That was the name that I remember hearing about. Uh, Mass Effect. Let's see. So EJ, Mirror's Edge sequel was canceled, I think. That was true, but then recently it was leaked on, um, on Amazon Italy and Amazon Germany. There was listings for Mirror's Edge 2 for next gen and current gen. And on EA's help website, there was Mirror's Edge 2 listing. So I think they might even announce it at, uh, at E3. Are hyped for Only God Forgives? Uh, I haven't heard too much about it. I'll, I'll look for it. Are you waiting for Elder Scrolls Online? Not really. Simply because I'm kind of afraid uh, that it's just going to fuck everything up and just not be a very good MMO in general. Just kind of follow the usual trend of uh, of just whatever. Like, this just post. This makes this generic MMO in this world that's really great. But, you know, I mean, if it's not innovative or not really good, it's not going to be worth it. Uh, Pokemon. I, I was kind of joking. Pokemon is not my favorite game, but I've spent a lot of time on them, on all those Pokemon games. I think I played all of them until uh, t I have not played Black and White. So I, I it just that would just be it. Um, question: What's your least favorite TV show? I don't watch a lot of TV. 
if I did watch, I'd buy an Xbox One. And that's obviously all about TV. Uh, <laughs> uh, so when you ask my least favorite TV show, I, I can't answer because I only watch uh, ones that, uh, that like interest me. And that's like stuff like uh, uh, game, like Sherlock. I'm looking forward to when I'm watching Sherlock. I watched uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn around and see on my DVDs. Uh, Star Trek. I like Star Trek and TV shows. But yeah, I can't. I can't really give you. I can't give you like a least favorite TV show thing. Let's see. Uh, will Xbox One be successful, or at least more successful than PS4? The Xbox One will be successful. Uh, trust me on that. Like as an entertainment system, it will attract a lot more people to the Xbox One than just you know having this gaming console. Uh, but the problem is that they're kind of screwing over their 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 current uh, gamer base. Uh, so I think it will be very successful. Perhaps even more than the PS4. But the PS4 will be more geared toward gamers, I think. Did I play Pokemon Pinball? A long time ago, I think I played it once. Uh, so far, Xbox One is on top of the blah, blah, blah. Will there be a Capture the Flag in the next beta update? Uh, not in the next one. But it'll probably happen at some point. Or it'll be modded. And you can always expect the modders to do something. Um, only God forgives. I'll watch the trailer after and I'll give you my thoughts. Right now, let's continue with the questions. Uh, Xbox One is on top of because PS4 keeps leaking things and haven't shown anything yet. They showed a lot more games than Xbox. I just didn't talk about TV and sports all the time. They didn't show the console though, that's true. Uh, let's look for some more stuff. I got pinged, let's see, let's look at that. <laughs> I don't leak info. You didn't hear anything. Uh, what are new stuff in the next beta update? Uh, what's ri what's written in the um, in the in the MM post on the forums? That's all. That's confirmed for now. Um, okay, so I'll I'll watch your God for Gifts trailer really quickly since it's only like one minute. Let's look at that. Uh, is this live action? Oh, that's live action. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, that's right, this is a movie, right? Yeah, I thought this was a game for a moment, for some reason. Oh, there's Ryan Gosling in it. I hope he's gonna eat cereal. Okay, so, I, like, okay, I just skimmed through the trailer really quickly. It's not something I'd watch in theaters, but maybe I'll look, I'll, I'll look it up at some point. Uh, I cannot see the numbers. Uh, Ilex is the only one who can, sadly. Uh, can see numbers. Yeah, fourteenth of June for me is the Star Trek release date in my country. Sadly, even though it's been out for a month, a damn month. Worst video game I've played and why it was horrible. I want to I want to say Call of Duty, but no, I won't. It, it, it's it's not true. Call of Duty is not a terrible game. It is, it's well, this should be an entirely different subject. Uh, let's just go on with like worst game I've ever played. Hmm. I don't know. Really, to be honest, a worst game uh would probably be some shit flash game if I had to count it because it would just make no sense and it would be terrible. It would look terrible. It would play terribly, and it would just give me freaking seizures. I don't know. But again, I don't play a lot of bad games because I usually purposely avoid them. I watch them on YouTube to see why they're horrible. Uh, if I had to choose one, I'm not sure if I had to choose one bad game. Maybe The Force Unleashed 2. Okay, okay, let's go for a, a real bad game that I that I played. I will get, I will, I will go for The Force Unleashed 2. Simply, uh, it's not a terrible game, uh, but I will say it's, it was bad because of how just repetitive and disappointing it was compared to its first game uh, but yeah I, otherwise I don't I don't like I said I don't play a lot of bad games let's see uh, I thought this was CAG radio this is CAG radio because it's about CAG with this is the CAG community but never said that it would be only restricted to CAG and come on otherwise the radio would be done in 20 minutes because there's nothing to talk about in CAG really until there's new updates or stuff Uh, weirdest skill do I uh, weirdest skill I have? 
Um, I don't have a lot of skills, do I? <laughs> uh, weirdest skill I have... Dude, that's kind of weird. Uh, an odd question, because I don't really... I don't really know what kind of odd skill I would have. Let me think for a second here. Odds, like a, a weirdest skill. Uh, that would seem like uh, being able to to fart with your nose. Let's just say something like that, some stupid thing like that. Mastery with your feet. I don't think that's really a skill. I doubt that's really a skill that you would consider that a skill or something. Uh, I don't think I'd, I'm not, I'm just gonna ignore that and, uh, and to not answer uh, that weirdest skill thing. If I do have a weird skill at some point, I'll let you know. Uh, and there's some more interesting questions here. How do you feel about the Wii getting taken off the market? Uh, it's a good move for Nintendo because their Wii U is not selling well. It really is not taking, it's not working well, sadly. Well, I, sadly, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad for Nintendo that it's not working well, but you know, so they have to take the Wii U off, they have to take the Wii off the market just because, not even, is it really getting taken off the market? I, I didn't read anything about that. But yeah, I mean, it, it'll, it'll be necessary at some point just to boost sales for the Wii U. Uh, what Pokemon is more annoying, Confused Umbreon or Wall Rain in the Hail? Was that the, the that was the match I, I was watching earlier? That was absolutely just that was long. I think you guys took seventy turns, something like that. I just I don't like Pokemon that can spam attacks and just being fucked on all. Uh, what is my favorite type of DLC? DLC that is not necessary to enjoy the full game but still gives you more content. Van Huick mentions the Shivering Isles DLC, and I will ag agree with that. I do, and I, I haven't played it, sadly. The thing is, I have not played the Shivering Isles DLC because I did not, my Xbox broke down before I was able to play it, but I did watch it online, and I like expansions. Those are true DLCs slash expansions, where they actually, you, you're not forced to buy it, but if you buy it, you get a lot more content. Uh, horse armor, I, I, didn't, I didn't buy the horse armor. Shadlington did, though, interesting. Uh, what was the happiest moment of, of my life? Uh, when I found out I was gay. The saddest, uh, the reaction I got. No, I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. Uh, preferred weapon of choice should zombie for apoc uh, apocalypse arrive. The Chuck Norris gun. Uh, but preferably, I think maybe a katana. No, not a katana. That's terrible. A machine gun. With unlimited ammo. If that counts. Uh, what's DLC? Downloadable content. Yes. DLC is downloadable. Actually, this is a thing that's kind of debatable. Downloadable content includes all everything that's downloadable for a game. So skins, uh, updates are technically DLC, uh, but they're not what we think that they are. But you know, we don't like when we think of DLC. Now we think of uh, of bad money practices and uh, and the stuff cut out of the game. But that is not a. I don't necessarily agree with all of that. Um, there's a big problem with selling used games with your opinion. DLC prevents it. Okay, here's my problem with used, with like banning used games because this is pretty much what the subject is about. Banning used games is not... Just, there is no way that they should do that. Simply because there's actually... There is a video. Um, there is a video. And like, okay, so like... Oh, okay, I'll go, from, I'll go from the beginning. DLC uh, allows the publisher to get money off the used game that they were not able to uh, to get their money from. That's 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 what they think. That's what they want to do is that, okay, we're not getting money from the used game. We're going to get money from the DLC. But if people buy a used game, they're often not going to buy the DLC. Or they will, but that just depends. Uh, this is guy that made a video called Boogie1228, something like that, and he made some good points on uh, on uh, on why DLCs and uh, used, banning used games is a problem. Which I highly recommend to check it out, but I don't. I don't have time to look for the link right now. Steam, you can't trade games. Yes, but that's PC gaming. PC gaming is a different thing. When we talk about consoles, consoles are supposed to be like an easy access thing. Just put in the disc, play. No need to install. No need to pay. No need to die, be forced on DRM. But now they're doing that. They're, the Xbox and the PS. Well, we don't know about the PS4, but the Xbox will be. Um, it, it, the Xbox will be a, a PC, but with much less better specs. That's what it is. Let's see. Uh, Steam is bad, actually. It's very bad, very bad. It's horrible. Um, I will agree on one part of that, and I will accept the other, because the uh, thing is, what I like about Steam 
is just the sales that they have and like the convenient way uh, to like just click on a game and, and open it and you know have all my games there. The problem with that is that it's forced the it, it is forced DRM. It is forced DRM and it is also a problematic when Steam shuts down their servers, which I don't think will happen, but uh, or at least it won't happen any anytime soon. But I think uh, that will be a problem because especially with the people that have hundreds of games on Steam, bam, you're cut out and you're dead. But the thing is, Steam is now is probably the best out of everything because you have EA that's forcing you to get your their your their games through Origin. Uh, some other games are forcing you to have DRM. Can't do anything about it now. If I had to choose my if I had to pick my poison, it'd have to be Steam because it's probably the better the better one out of all of them. And uh, Vane did link Boogie. That's cool. Uh, it's really nice that someone linked it. Um, call someone on Skype. <laughs> I'd like to. I would like to call someone on Skype. The problem is that it would it would glitch out this uh, uh, this microphone and all this software is kind of weird with calling people. Uh, then there would be a problem with not hearing them, not hearing me. It would be problematic. I'm not going to do it today. Uh, what books, single franchise, would you recommend for everyone to read? Lord of the Rings, if you haven't already. Um, let's see. Better specs than most people. Well, maybe the Xbox One has better specs than other people. We don't know. I mean, most people will have on PC gaming. Most most people will either have an over six hundred dollar computer. Um, CAG Steam will be a good impact on community or not? Probably not. I'm gonna say it clearly. It probably won't be a good impact. Uh, simply because of all the, the all the users that use Steam, we're gonna get a lot more problem. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll see when it when it's out and if it effectively kills everyone that's uh, that's playing it currently. Let's see. Uh, you're against used games. Well, I think it should be right that if you buy a, if you buy a game, if you if you buy a game, that game should belong to you, and then you should be able to resell it freely. That's that's market. But they want you. To, they want to stop you doing that by you know adding you know fees to play used games, um, just having DRM, having DLC. This is all publishers trying to fight back against used games when they really shouldn't. They get enough. I think they get enough money already, except like the lower indie games, of course. But they don't do DLC. They don't do uh, a lot of that stuff that you know that you see in big publishers. Uh, there you go. So. I think there's a, g a good amount of questions right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is that, uh, unless you have more questions, ask me. I'm probably just going to go ahead and give you guys what giveaway I'm going to be doing, uh, simply because you no, know, I have I have my codes right here. I might as well just start doing it. Um, some of you might actually already have the games that are listed here. Because it's pretty simple to actually, it's pretty simple to get them. So, let's see, let's create this thread. There we go, copy, paste. Kazam, giveaway time, let's do this. Let's stop all the questions. Unless you have more, I will answer them while I search for stuff. Um, as I said, you will probably notice some games that are in there simply because they're easy to get. And uh, But still, I mean, I think it's still a fun way to get some games and stuff. So let's do it. Click the link, go ahead, post, and uh, we'll do that later. Ask some questions while you guys post. It'll be a good idea. It'll give us something to do in the meantime. Instead of having to put some music, because honestly, I don't really want to listen to music right now, and I don't think any of you want to listen to music I have in my library. Uh, let's see. Yes, EJ, it is uh, It is the Humble Bundle, simply because I bought it recently, and I will give away... Either, I, don't, I haven't decided yet exactly if I want to give away the full games separately, or if I want to... If I want to give the whole bundle away, I think I'll just want to give the game separately. So right, uh, error. You got to join. Yes, Dardar. You have to join the the social group first. So if you want, I can give you a link or something. 
If you guys can't see the thread, what you have to do is go over to CAG Radio right here. And never mind, we are at 100. Wow, 100 members on the social group. Jesus, that's crazy. It's madness. Let's see. Uh, I think I posted a good thing on this thread here. Ah, uh, shame I don't have it. Uh, good choice of games. Hi. Okay. So, guys, continue posting on that link. I want to see you guys post, and I'll give. I'll. I'll just put them in a, in a random generator, and I will give them away. Uh, as I said, uh, I'll give away the Steam keys. I will give away the, the DRM free copies, and I will also give away the soundtrack. Um. Uh, no, they are, um, no Blackie, there are no, um, uh, the, the keys are all separate. I have access to all the codes and I can just give them, uh, I can give them one by one and I will do that. Um, Dar Dar, you should actually, I will, if you want to participate, I will, and you win, you will get one of those games. A lot of those games are really good, uh, specifically, uh, I think what I've played recently, Thomas Was Alone, I heard was very good. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Hotline Miami is pretty fun. Uh, Living in front of is pretty cool as well, but yeah, they're all they're all indie games. Uh, which it's funny because they're all indie games and it fits well with uh, with this uh, whole theme of uh, of uh, of CAG Radio, which is an indie game as well. So let's refresh this a couple times. Uh, Calix asked, uh, "What do you think of the upcoming up Wolverine movie?" Um, well, hopefully the upcoming Wolverine movie won't be bad because simply uh, the problem with the problem with uh, Wolverine, uh, the, the original movie they made with Wolverine, X-Men Origins Wolverine was pretty, uh, I'm not sure how, how it was exactly. I, I won't talk about it that much. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm cautious, cautiously optimistic, let's say that. So, uh, let's see. So for now, there are one, two, three, four, four people that posted, and there are uh, four, five, six, seven games to win. So guys, post, you, you will have a chance to win. Do you think DC heroes are being saturated by Hollywood? Marvel heroes, yes, perhaps. Uh, DC, no, because there are simply there aren't that many DC characters. Uh, I mean, there are. There are a lot of DC characters. There's not a lot of movies based on them. And the ones that they did, uh, let's see. Um, Batman was good. Man of Steel we haven't seen yet. Uh, Green Lantern was pretty bad from what I heard. I didn't watch it. Uh, let's see. So a lot of people posting. Guys, as I said, what if you already have those games? Um, well, <laughs> I did not think of that, honestly. I mean, I did think of it. I knew that you would, uh, that you had those games before. You can get, you can, part, and you can, you can post in it and you can get the game and give it to whoever you want, really. I mean, you can do that. Or you don't post at all. Like, that's really your choice. Uh, so I'm seeing more posts on here. That's good. Uh, how this works, I think if you, uh, I'm not sure if I wrote that correctly. Um, I'll put them in the random generator. The first guy that pops up in the generator will get to choose his game out of all of them. Uh, okay, so these heroes. Uh, guys, continue posting some questions while we wait for people to uh, post on that thread. We want all these people to, to just go ahead. Uh, and as I said, i telling you, these games are pretty good. Uh, because I bought the indie bundle for myself before uh, buying it uh, fully. I played a couple of them. Uh, let's see. I got pinged. Oh, what do you mean, EJ? Favorite OP weapon? Oh, this is a question. Um, who bought, uh, like, favorite OP weapon uh, in all games? Oh, that, huh. OP weapons uh, in every single video game. Uh, I can't answer that simply because it is uh, pretty. Oh, well, I mean, if we go for CAG, uh, I'm already seeing the drills showing up. The ballista is actually really powerful. I don't know if that counts as a weapon, though. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's so many games that you can't really choose an OP weapon, uh, really, without being like uh, kind of biased and stuff. 
Favorite food that is not everyday mundane stuff like squids chopped up, sprinkled with garlic, salt, and smothered in chocolate. What? That sounds tasty. <laughs> uh, everyday food, like favorite food that is not everyday mundane. Um, probably something like uh, some gourmet thing. I'm not sure. I like basic food. I like pasta. I like pizza. I like rice. I like blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff. Mexican food is very good as well. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Ratchet and Clank was good, honestly. I thought it was a good game. Well, good games, because there's a lot of them. And they're making a Ratchet and Clank movie as well. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have here? There's some good, there's some good answers in the IRC right now. Uh, don't forget, right now there are... One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six people that I've posted, and there are seven. Uh, there are seven games to give away, so there's going to have to be another guy that's going to have to post to win something. Uh, let's see. Ha! <laughs> I still have to wait until there's a bit more, a bit more things there. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's continue asking some questions between the two of you or things like that while we wait for more people to post. In the meantime, I could probably play with the music in the background again. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm posting the thread. I'm starting to post the thread in other, other spots. Oh, still only six posts here. Come on, guys. What's on CAG or CAG Gather? Uh, what do I do about CAG? Or, uh, I could post it over there, but I need to link only the fact that there's a giveaway on CAG Radio to get them to come here. Uh, what do I think about GTA 5 versus Saints Row 4? Like, what, what do I think is going to be the better game? I think that I think it's going to be pretty obvious what, what is going to be the better game, uh, I think. And that is GTA V, even though I don't play GTA. Uh, and I haven't played it in since St. Andreas or Vice City on PSP. I don't remember. I played it. That was a while ago. I, I didn't play much GTA. Uh, Saints Row is really fun, don't get me wrong, but I think when we have to compare it, uh, it's really different. So let's see. Let's start getting some more people to join the the giveaway here. Let's uh, start joining some channels. Hopefully my just for my IRC won't crash because that's a problem that happened recently. Let's refresh this page. Also, while I'm here, uh, you guys post. Ah, oh, there we go. There's people I was saying to post. Post in the like post on the IRC. Who would you like to see on CAG Radio? Like. Like I think someone mentioned, um, someone mentioned MM and Getty. Someone mentioned Warfork. Ah, okay. So there's some more questions here. Favorite kind of high octane nightmare fuel in movies, books, comics, and games: anticipation, horror, gore, jump scares, physical, uh, physiological torture. I'll uh, I'll be honest. I don't play lots of horror games. Simply, so I, I I'm not the best guy to actually. I'm really not the guy to actually post uh, to, to give you a correct answer on that uh, because I don't like them. I don't like these type of games. They 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 make me kind of you know. Uh, well, of course, you know, jump scares and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of those. I mean, they're fun, but they're not something I uh, I enjoy that much. So I wouldn't be able to answer that question. Uh, so okay, library GTA 4 or St. Andreas. The first very good story, and the later had four 420 weeds sniper gangsters. Um, Okay, uh, well, I played St. Andreas, and I loved it. Because the thing is, what I play in GTA is I don't really play for a story. I play for, I mean, I play for story in video games in general. I do. I really do. Um, but for GTA, I just I just use cheats, get a tank, and just have fun. That's GTA for me. That's my GTA experience. And uh, GTA 4, uh, same thing. But it, I, was not using, uh, I was not using cheats. Uh, which was a better game? Um, again, I don't play a lot of GTA, so I'm going to go just... Thinking, I don't know, St. Andreas maybe? Because I heard that's the most popular one. 
so I don't know. You just have to see. Uh, again, maybe I'll get GTA 5 eventually, and I'll tell you then. Um, JRP, JR, JGRP. Is that one of the CAG devs? The CAG guards? Uh, CAG guards. There's a lot of guards, you know? So, I mean, that's like Raren. That's uh, Rain, that, that, that's Kuji, that's EJ, that's, that's a lot, there's a lot of guards, so that's not a very precise question. Uh, who'd win in a fight between a giant robot made of Anamite and evil clown from hell? The giant robot. Come on. Uh, favorite kind of weapon, sword, gun, pull arm, and why? The gun, because you could probably just look at Indiana Jones, in the, the first Indiana Jones movie. The guy swings his sword around and he gets shot in, the, in like, I think it's in the stomach because, you know, Indy just uses a gun. So, yeah, gun. Um, GTA 4 Forever is underrated. I'm not saying that GTA 4 is not a good game. GTA 4 is excellent, but, uh, you know, again, um, I don't think it has that much of a fun factor that St. Andreas had. But, no, I didn't play a lot of GTA, so I'm not probably not the best guy to answer that. Uh, Vice City, St. Andreas. I preferred Vice City over St. Andreas, at least on PSP. Um... But, yeah, as I said, uh, you know, just, I really enjoyed Vice City, St. Andreas, and I played a bit of GTA, so, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's go and look at some more stuff. GTA 4. What video game is the best OST? Oh, man. You're asking the question of the questions. What? I, I, I will not, I cannot say one video game has a better OST. Uh, simply because, you know, there are so many good uh, soundtracks in video games. It, there's amazing. Planscape Torment had amazing soundtrack. Uh, Zelda has a pretty good soundtrack. Uh, Mass Effect, well, that's just personal preference, but Mass Effect has a great soundtrack. Um, let's see, let's try to think of more games. Uh, there's just so many games that have great soundtracks. Even some indie games, some, there's some indie games that have amazing soundtracks, like A Little Inferno, uh, which is the indie game, one of the indie games I'm giving away, has a great soundtrack. And when you, if you win A Little Inferno, I will send you the soundtrack as well. Uh, yes, Zelda had some great soundtracks. Uh, well, this might, I don't know, I, I think you guys heard of it. Uh, Final Fantasy, obviously, has a great soundtrack. Bastion, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, but yeah. And some great, uh, there's some great, well, soundtracks OSTs, yeah. I mean, like, I'm just using soundtrack as a word for OST, basically. Uh, but yeah, OST soundtrack, yeah. There are different things, I'm aware. Uh, but again, you know, OS, Mass Effect OST and the Mass Effect soundtrack are pretty much the same thing. You guys know there's no, there's not really any, any different thing. So, um, most embarrassing moment in my life. There's quite a few of those. And some of those go kind of personal. Uh, so I won't answer any of those, but they involve, uh, they involve some weird things, uh, which you can just imagine for yourself, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's refresh this page. Let's check if there are any new posts. Uh, still no new posts. Okay. I know that might be some more chance for you guys to win. Um. Yeah. No. You just don't ask about that question. <laughs> don't ask about the embarrassing moments. Let's see. Okay, so there's a, there's a cool there's a cool question here. Are Japanese games redundant? We have our Western industry lo looping into cause and battlefields, but they haven't made anything about JRPGs in forever. Um, I mean, Japanese. There's actually there's quite a few Japanese games uh, in Japan. I mean, if you like consider like importing Japanese games in uh, in a like in the world, rest of the world, I don't think they're redundant just because it kind of gives you a break from the from the big publishers games like COD and Battlefield. As you said, um, but in Japan, I suppose that having so many JRP, J, I think it's JRPGs, uh, I suppose it does get pretty boring at some point. Um, I just can now climb any natural block. Thoughts? Oh, I don't, I don't remember that. I haven't played in the beta in a while. Uh, beer or vodka? Beer. Uh, yeah, I just have to go for beer for that one. Let's see. 
Um, it's like I'm trying to see how many people are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right now, like, what I could do right now is I could end the. I, I don't think ending the giveaway right now is very interesting. I think it's more, more people would like to join. I think maybe. If not, I, I'll just I'll just post it. Oh, uh, I just realized. Yes, the Elder Scrolls OSTs are amazing. Yes, thank you, Van Huick, for reminding me of that. Uh, interview with JTG about his sex stories. <laughs> let's see. But yeah, let's just talk. If we talk about like the Japanese games, they do. They're, they're we, you have to blame them. Um, to just not. Yeah. Yes, but, but like. Okay, I'm getting a lot of pings here. Um. But yeah, Japanese industry does like make redundant games at some point. You know, like it's still the video game industry. It's still similar, but with different games. Nintendo recycles my Mario, Zelda, and their overall franchises because they make money. Uh, Final Fantasy is an example of that. There's like what 15 of them now, I think. I don't remember exactly. I don't remember the number. Uh, there's going to be a 15th one or something, and then there's like 13, two or three. I don't know. There's so many Final Fantasy games, and they get redundant. I have to agree with that. But they're still good games. They are still good games. Uh, why is your game name Liber? Uh, oh my god, I keep getting phone calls. Seriously, I cannot do this without getting bothered. I should turn off my phone at some point, uh, or I'll answer it after this is done. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, EJ has sparked an interesting discussion here, which I'd be interested in talking more about if we post that on the CAG forums. Um, why is my game name Liber? It's a complicated thing. It, it's like uh, Aries in French split the the letters around it's uh a lot of just a lot of stuff uh honestly i'm kind of getting bored of this username i'd kind of want to change it but let's not do that uh <laughs> phone call interview yeah i don't think you want to hear this phone call honestly it's just some random phone calls i'm getting let's see uh It is a German word, yes. It's apparently a German word for love or loving or something like that. I remember, or lover. I, I, I'll say hon honestly, I was not aware that this was a that this was a a German word when I created it quite a while ago. Uh, let's see. So, if there are if there are any more people that want to join the giveaway, just post in that thread, and uh, I will I will eventually. Uh, let's not leave it up too long either. I'd like to announce the winners directly on. Uh, on the CAG radio channel here. But yeah, Liber is, uh, is lover, yes. I was, that's why, like, when I join, like, CAG servers, I often get someone talking, like, speaking to me in German because they think I'm German because of my username. But I'm not. I just have to tell them I'm not German. Uh, imagine you are in a sinking robot surrounded by sharks. How would you survive? By talking with the sharks. With Aquaman. <laughs> uh, which of the games in the giveaway has low requirements? They all have low requirements. I think Hotline Miami uh, and Thomas Was Alone are the ones that require the less. But overall, they are all very low requirements uh, games. Um, how did I come up with the CAG radio idea? Uh, I just wanted to do something where I could talk to the community and, uh, and just have some fun, you know, like give the community something that they hadn't had before on uh, on the forums or in the game. So yeah, I just came up with the idea of just making some sort of talk show, a podcast, and then it evolved into giving music and events and stuff like that, and that's how CAG Radio came to be. Uh, do you like Lego? Do I like Lego? Yes, I do like Lego. I think they're extremely expensive. Uh, but I had, I used to have, I still have some uh, Lego collection sets, I believe, which I just leave on my shelves until they're worth uh, quite a bit to sell them. I suppose maybe I will on one day. Um, yeah, EJ. I, now at some point, I just, I just like give. I, I don't care about the pronunciation of my username anymore. I pronounce it Liber still. I suppose it could be Lieber or. It still sounds kind of weird, honestly. That's why I just pronounce it like I do. But I like, I don't really mind. I don't really mind if. Uh, if people uh, like that. Oh, uh, but Calix, I'm not sure if you were talking about Lego video games. If you're talking about video games, then um, then the Lego video games are getting really stale, but you know, whatever. 
Uh, let's see. I'd say, like, it depends on how you pronounce. Like Lego, Lego is a great. Um, it's kind of a, it's a great thing. Uh, but I like I said I just I I don't buy them anymore because they're too expensive. I bought some sets, the Star Wars sets, because to be honest, the Star Wars sets were the most popular ones I believe, and they were the the best. So I still have a couple of sets, and I gave some away to my um, to my cousin. So he still has a lot of my sets. Uh, but then in video games, Lego Star Wars, the video game, was best, and Lego Lord of the Rings was amazing. It's it's funny because it's a Lego game, but it was, just, it was incredible in the fact that you just walk around Middle Earth, and you'd just be in an open world, and you have the soundtrack and the, uh, and, um, and the voices from the movie. It was great. Uh, let's see, so yeah. I'll just talk about Lego in general here. Let's refresh this page again. Ah, there we go. So we have a bit more, a bit more posts here. That's awesome. Let's see, Lego Wolverine. Lego. I think there were Lego. I actually, I made a Lego Wolverine character. It was the um, the comic one where you know he's still in yellow and he has that sort of mask thing. I made one, a, a custom one, but I think I lost him at some point. Um, nine equals four twenty one. I'm not sure what you're talking about here, Maisie. Um. But yeah, uh, I have to agree. EJ, um, the Star Wars, like the Lego games, are now they're they're the same games. They just have a different uh, a different uh, theme. And the thing is that uh, I played Lego Lord of the Rings when it came out because you no, know, I like Lord of the Rings. I actually I love Lord of the Rings, and it turned out to be a great game. But I, buying these games all the time would be terrible because you'd just be playing the same game with a different format and different theme, which is not really something interesting to be honest. They don't innovate that much in the in those games. Let's see, let's scroll down. Okay, so we have some more stuff here. So let's see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think here if I'm going to close the giveaway now. With uh, let's see, there's how many people that are asking here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ten people are participating, and there are seven games to win. So, I mean, I suppose, I suppose I could do that. Uh, let's see. So, some more questions while I was here. And uh, sixteen equals what? And seventeen equals what? Uh, I don't have. Let's see. My least favorite person in CAG. What's his name already? I forgot his name. Philly Stin. I think that's him. I don't like him. Um, next Lego game is Marvel Heroes, yes. They did DC, they did the DC Heroes, now they're doing the Marvel ones. Uh, but it'll be the same game, just with a different, uh, thing. Uh, let's see, yes, they did make, uh, sets for Marvel Heroes, nice. Oh, wow, this Lego Wolverine one looks pretty cool. Again, I, I don't have one that's similar to that. I have a I have a custom one which is closer to the comic. Uh, but yeah, that one does look pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, I it's maybe that like I I'm saying Philson just because he annoys me. But I don't know if he's I, like he's probably just a he's probably just a troll. Uh, and he's extremely easy to find because his one of his keys is just broken. So. Uh, how many girls did I have? Was one of them fat? Uh, I had quite a couple of girlfriends, and none of them were fat. Um, who's the best X Men? I mean, the best Force. <laughs> going with, I guess, going with Wolverine would be kind of unfair. But if we're talking about like uh, the, the overall people in the X Men, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool. Kids. I like Nightcrawler is awesome. Uh, Magneto is awesome. Wolverine is awesome. Xavier is cool. Uh, yeah, I like a lot of them. Uh, yeah, Slowing Retro in the Radio, that's pretty cool. Let's see, let's go down here. Alright. Magneto does have a, a, a strange costume. 
but I mean, I liked I like his performance. Like if you, like in the movies, like in the comics, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really read comics anymore. But in the movies, uh, he was performed by some great actors, uh, Ian McKellen and uh, Michael Fassbender, and they're both great actors. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, best X Men character would have to be like someone. Uh, I'm not gonna say. Wolverine. I mean, I'm just gonna go for Wolverine because he's cool. Let's see. So, guys, I am going to refresh this page a couple times, and uh, I think I'll close the giveaway because, again, there are a couple. I think there's ten, ten people participating, and there are seven games to win. So once again, if you want to participate in the giveaway, uh, I will post a link once again in the IRC right here. Uh, last chance to win the giveaway. Let's see. Um, if you would like, some, if you have some force, what would it be like? We're flying, teleporting, teleporting. Uh, because simply because like teleporting can get you out of um, of of like tough situations. You can also just go faster than flying. So yeah, teleporting gets two thumbs up from me. Strangest thing you masturbated to? Ah. Uh, I saw some weird things. I think I purposely, Jesus Christ, I keep getting, I keep getting phone calls. Why does he want to call me so much? Seriously. <sighs> That's why I don't like cell phones. Uh, <laughs> uh, teleport, yes, teleporting is the best. Um, so you think I'm masturbated to? I guess you could go for some weird uh, anime stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, teleporting is great. I liked it. I like to teleport. Let's see. So yeah, almost everyone will win the giveaway. Yes, that is very true, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. So let's refresh that page. Ah, oh, I'm getting. I'm gonna get some British way. Yeah, uh, mobile. But I don't like saying mobile. I prefer saying cell phone. That's because I'm American. That's just what you're gonna do with it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I think. Um, I think I'm going to close the giveaway and start going on uh, let's go on random.org. Guys, it's the beginning of the end. So you could say. Again, if you really want if you want to participate in it, just post a comment fast before I end up uh, just choosing people on a random.org. Uh, let's see. Cell phone. Uh, yep, let's go. This is going to be exciting. I'm going to choose who will win the first. Um, so, guys, again, right now, last chance. Go on there, post. Even if you don't want, even if you don't want it, just post, and you can give away to a friend or something. Do it like that. I, I'm sure that everyone will not uh, be like sort of sad afterwards or something like that. Uh, do I play more people online games with people IRL or people you meet online? I play more online games with people I meet uh, online. I also play with some with some IRL friends. Anyway, let's look at this. Um, I'm going to refresh this page one last time, guys, and then you will have to not be able to choose anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Crap, I think I, I accidentally said Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. 11. There's 11 people participating and there are 7 games to win. So some people will not win anything. Um, that's 11 people. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to choose the first winner of the Gag Radio giveaway. Let's look at this. Uh, generate. Alright, let's see who wins the first out of everyone. The number is eight, so let's check who posts who who was the eighth person to post. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, right, let's see. I might I think I'm I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have our first winner. First winner is Vane. You get the chance to choose your own game from that list, which probably is awesome lots, so that's going to be easier to choose. Um, expect a PM later on, and I will send you... Um, 
I will send you a uh, the game. I will send you the chicken costume link. Um, Vayne, mean, you get to choose what game you want. That's as simple as that. Awesome knots. Okay. You, you wait, congratulations. You win awesome knots. You win the chicken thing that comes with it. You win the soundtrack that comes with it. Uh, I will send you a Steam key. Um, actually, I'll send you a PM and I'll ask exactly what you want. But that's not it because there are still games to win. Uh, there are still games to win. So awesome knots is going to be crossed out. Uh, don't worry, guys. There's some, still some pretty amazing games on that list. There we go. Now let's ran, let's generate another one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the chicken thing. Yeah, the chicken thing is a skin. I think it's a skin for a for a character. Um, let's see. Let's generate another one. So that's one down. So we're gonna put ten. Generate number ten. Let's see who it is. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Um, wait, did I do this correctly? Yes, I did. So, uh, I generated uh, the thing. Let's count again. One, two, uh, let's see. I'm making sure that there's no mistake here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so second winner of the giveaway is Van Huick, who, uh, funnily enough, is number ten out of the ten people. So you will get a PM later on, and you will, um, um, you will get, uh, you will tell me what game you want, and I will send you. Uh, everything. A uh, Warfork, actually I can't do that because I'm using um, I'm using a random generator, so uh, it'll give me exactly the number of people that uh, that post. Because I removed Vane 1, so I removed them from the list. So uh, I, then I generated again, 10 and Van Huick wins. Uh, I will send you a PM later on. Uh, let's just, I should write these names down actually. Uh, let's see. So, Vane wins. I will send you a PM later on. Come on now. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. This post-it thing is kind of weird. Vane, Van Huick. All right. Now, um, guys, what you did not understand, like as I said, it's not about posts. It's about, I ran, like, randomly generated. Yes, exactly. Kuji will explain. He's... He's uh, he's the good. He's he's understandable. Like posts don't count anymore. So someone that already wins will not be counted anymore. Uh, I will again like so. I when I removed Vane from the thing, Van Huick wins from the. She was just counting the the posts. Anyway, so that's two games down. I will uh, send you a PM. Actually, Van Huick, what game do you want? I will query you that right now. I can query it like that. Can directly scr uh, scratch it off the, the list, and that'll be easier. Oh shit! I accidentally queried the wrong person. I queried what? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, queries. So that is uh, number ten, which means that there's only nine people who have not won yet, and we'll generate that really quickly. Oh man, this computer is slow as hell. Uh, let's see. So, um, which game? I can't decide. Choose for me, right? Yeah, decide something like that. I can I can scratch it off the list really quickly, so there's no confusion between anyone. Uh, let's see. And there's a lot of people that are like, like, I'm talking about. Uh, just, you know, again, all games are good in there. They're all good in their own way. Uh, but then again, so you'll decide, but right now, let's generate another winner. Let's generate another winner uh, for uh, for the CAG uh, giveaway. So you choose Proteus, apparently. So Proteus is going to be given to Van Huick. So let's uh, If you are sure, if that is your final answer, I will scratch that off from the list.
He chooses Proteus. Okay. Uh, Proteus. Uh, I just saw something about like uh, Batman the Animated Series being uh, better than Spider-Man. Yes, Batman Animated Series was absolutely amazing. And Spider-Man Animated Series was kind of... Uh, it was good, but, you know, didn't end. Okay, so... Van Huyck gets Proteus. Don't worry, guys. There's still Hotline Miami, Capsize, Dear Esther, Little Inferno, and Thomas was alone. Um... It's going to be pretty nice. Those are some good games still. So, let's generate another user who will get the game. Number seven. So, let's count number seven out of these people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the question is, is he here? Is he here on the category right now? Is he here or not? Otherwise, I'm going to have to say send him here because number seven is Sir Loading. The question is, where is he? Where has he gone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So, Sir Loading is the winner of this right now. However, if he is not here, I will just send him a uh, PM and he will win and I'll ask him what game he wants. So, Sir Loading wins. Uh, let's see, Sir Loading. Let's write that down. Cool, you're here, perfect. Sir Loading, you win. Uh, you will get to choose one of the games that you want. Uh, just. Uh, tell me what you want right now, and I will scratch up the list. Uh, as I say, um, there is, um, yep, I know, he's here, he's here. I just noticed. Uh, there's, what you can do is you can accept, you could choose between Hotline Miami, Capsize, Dear Esther, Little Inferno, and Thomas Was Alone. So please, uh, tell me what game you would like, and I'll scratch it off the list and send it to you after this is done. Uh, let's see. Um... My RC is kind of broken. Show windows. Capsized. Okay, Sir Loading wants capsized. Understood. Capsized is off the list and is redeemed by, uh, by Sir Loading. Let's do that. I need to write that down. I mean, awesome. Notes. Then Hewick wants Proteus. Let's write that down. And Sir Loading wants Capsized. Very good choice. Capsized is fun. I just played it recently. There we go. Save changes. So that leaves us. Um, that leaves us Hotline Miami, D Rester, Little Inferno, and Thomas was alone. Which are all great games, and I'm um, surprised no one picked them yet, because they are pretty amazing, especially Hotline Miami. Uh, although Capsized was a great choice, because Capsized is a very fun game, which I played uh, really recently. So that's uh, 9, removed, generate. Okay, let's see who wins this time. Uh, let's see, one number 6... Uh... Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Let's try this again. One, to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have our sixth. We have our, well, not six, six, we have our fourth winner. Who will win? Drum roll, please. With the lag, of course. So I'll wait until the lag is gone to actually uh, <laughs> announce the winner. But yes, uh, I think someone discovered who won. And yes, the winner is NK King. One, two, three, four, five, six. The winner is NK King. That was amazing. That was a great, uh, that was actually kind of <laughs> sounded a bit weird. NK King, you win. You get to choose your game out of Hotline Miami, Dear Esther, Little Inferno, and Thomas Was Alone. He chooses Thomas Was Alone, a great choice. Congratulations, let's scratch that off the list. There we go, let's scratch this off. Ah, there's so many boards here, let's see. Bam, Thomas is alone, redeemed by NK King. You will receive the soundtrack, you will receive the Steam code, and the, um, what's it called? Uh, the DRM free copy, if you want it. I'll send you the link for it anyway. Uh, let's see, NK King, who wants 
Thomas. I'll just put Thomas because it's easier to say. So, there's still three games to be redeemed. Who will win them? That is the question. Three games to be redeemed, and there are still some people that do not have it. Let's generate, and let's see who has won. The winner is... Dremel, please. Please, please. The winner is... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, drum roll, please. After the lag, give me a drum roll for the winner of this giveaway. Well, not of course, not the only one. But one of the winners of the giveaway who will have a choice between Hotline Miami, Dear Esther, and Little Inferno, which are all three amazing games. The winner is Shadreki. I'm not even sure how you pronounce your nickname, but you're the one that wins. Congratulations. Tell me what game you want, and I will scratch it off the list. And you will receive it after this is done. Let's wait for the, you know, the, the radio lag is going through and you will get your answer. There we go. He got it. <laughs> Congratulations, man. You, uh, as I said, you will choose your one of your game. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Tell me here. Hotline Miami. Yes. Congratulations. You get Hotline Miami, which is an amazing game. I swear. I play, That is the, like, out of all of the, uh, the indie bundle games outside of Lunar Inferno, Hotline Miami was the most fun and the best game, uh, the one I spent the most time on. Congratulations, you win. So let's see, so there are only two games left. There is Dear Esther and Little Inferno. Two games that are, uh, I haven't played Dear Esther yet, but Little Inferno is great. I really enjoyed it and the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. So guys, let's generate this. Let's see who wins. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count this again. I think we have a winner here. Let's count it again. Let's count it again. Uh, let's see. Let's go back and let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Five. We have our winner. We have our winner who will choose between Dear Esther and Little Inferno. Uh, no, if you guys actually, like, just a quick side note. Dear Esther is actually uh, true. It is not exactly a game. Uh, but yeah, actually, it has story involved and is actually a really good, really good thing uh, from what I heard. So, the winner is Maisie. Number five, I counted with the brand generator. You win. And you get to choose between Dear Esther and Little Inferno, uh, which I think I already know what the answer will be. Uh, let's see. Let's wait for the for the lag to go through, and let's see your answer. Ah, I think it got there. Congratulations, you get to choose Little Inferno. Okay. No need to spam it. I understood. Okay, Little Inferno. Uh, let's see. Let's write that down. Okay, so there's only one game left. Let's see who will win it. We'll just make this fast because the last one is Dear Esther, which uh, I haven't played yet, so I can't give you my thoughts on it. But from what I heard, it's a great uh, story. It's a great story involved uh, type of game, if you can call it that. Uh, but I'd recommend it, especially since you don't really have a choice because that's the only one left in the game list. So let's try this out. Who will win Dear Esther? Generate. Generate this. One, two, three, four. We have a winner. We have a winner here. And the winner is, drum roll please. I mean, it depends. I mean, if you if like if uh, since the arrestor uh, is the one involved, and maybe you will not be that excited. But I like again, it's actually a pretty good game from what I heard. I haven't played it yet. I should play it after this is done. Let's do this. The winner is. Uh, let me see again because I almost I almost spoiled the surprise. Uh, let's see one. Two, three, four. The winner of Dear Esther is Calixt. 
Congratulations, you win, dear Esther. I don't know if that's a good thing for you or not. <laughs> Uh, but uh, again, it will come with a soundtrack, it will come with the Steam key, the DRM free copy, and the, uh, what is it called? The soundtrack. I think I mentioned that. Did I mention it? Oh, well, whatever. Congratulations, Galax. I will send you a, uh, I will send you a link uh, to the thing. Again, you are not, if you do not want your prize, uh, you can always give it away to whoever wants it. But again, We'll just to check it out, you will get quite a few, uh, quite a bit of content uh, in it. Let's see. So, Calix, dear Esther. All right. So let's see how many games that does. Let's see if I accidentally wrote something wrong or if I forgot something, but I don't think so. I think I gave everything away. Let's check this out. So let's save the changes. Let's see at how much recording time we are at. So we are at one. Almost one and a half hours of CAG radio. Almost a gigabyte of recording right now. And apparently we are getting laggy. That's kind of normal. I think this is from the strain. I'm not sure exactly. But guys, that is that was the giveaway. Congratulations to all the winners and to the people that participated. Uh, I'm happy uh, to possibly do this again one day. Um... Who knows, in another indie bundle or with uh, with games that just got or bought and, you know, stuff like that. So right now, it's an hour and a half of, uh, of CAG Radio. Right now, what will happen right now is your choice. Originally, I was going to do that the giveaway would, would just end the CAG Radio broadcast today. Um, but I think you get to choose if you want to see more stuff or not. Uh, Capsized Vein was won by Sir Loden. Nope. Capsize was chosen by Sir Loading. Uh, Van Uyck chose Proteus. I have a list of winners right here. I will send a PM to each and every one of you with the links to your download. Almost the easiest thing to do for me is to send you a, uh, a link to the Steam key. But I, I want to send you everything. I want to send you the DRM free copy, and I want to send you the uh, I want to send you the soundtrack. Even though it's kind of more, it's a bit more difficult. Uh, there we go. So guys. Thank, uh, let's see, wait, before we end it here, let's ask to you, do you want to do anything else uh, to uh, to whatever you, oh my god, this phone, I am, I'm seriously, okay, guys, <laughs> I'm getting, my, my head is going to blow up because of just the sheer craziness of how many calls I got today, but the same person, the same person calling, I don't know what he wants, it's like some sort of accident and blowing up in a factory, I don't know, holy crap, um, The choice is now. Do I end it right? Do I end the cat radio today, uh, right now? That is something uh, you get to choose. Do you want to ask more questions? I will gladly answer uh, your questions right now while I write the PMs to the specific people. Uh, so yeah, just tell me right now in the IRC uh, after the lag has gone through. You will tell me which which type of, which type of, of questions would you like to ask, or would you like to just go home and. Well, you're already home, but just go to your thing after this. It is your choice. Right now, I will start a conversation with the winners. Um, sex story. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so, conversation title. Guys, don't forget, you can uh, send me... You can just ask me some questions... Ask me some questions, and then while I write the PM, you can still uh, just do all this stuff. Interview Warfork. I, I, I'd like to interview Warfork, I guess. But, I mean, thing is, I can't uh, I can't call right now because the software problem. I'd have to call him and wait and put it on hold for a long time, and it doesn't work. Okay, so let's do this. Let's send it to... Uh, Man, there's so many pages open. I need to close some pages. Let's close some pages while I'm here. Uh, let's close this. There we go. So, again, like I said, I cannot interview Warfork because of a uh, software problem, uh, which causes it to not send sound properly. But no interviews today. Yes, that's something I actually had said uh, earlier on. But again, interviews will be planned out better simply because uh, this whole week I did not plan 
an interview because I simply didn't have anyone to ask and uh, to have any questions ready. But next time, I will definitely have something planned. Whole oh, Cagrito might actually be about a about a, an interview. Who knows? Right now, uh, guys, I think I'm, we're going to end it here. Um, thank you for coming to the Cag Radio. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, everyone wants this. Everyone wants War Fork. Uh, to pop to pop in again. I, I'd want to. I, I I would get you. I would get Warfork on right now. But again, I can't because then uh, there would be a problem with you not hearing him. And then when I talk, you blah blah blah. A big problem which I have not uh, have not fixed yet. But don't worry because Warfork will be on Cag Radio eventually. Guys, thank you so much for coming to Cag Radio today. I hope you enjoyed uh, your stay. And uh, congratulations to all the winners and the ones who participated. And uh, again, I will remind you that CAG Radio is every Saturday. Um, well, mostly like every like, every talk show is on Saturday. I might put some music uh, during the week. Uh, not sure exactly uh, if it's going to be it's exactly like concurrent or not. But yeah, wow. I need a drink. I've talked for a long time. A very long time. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to end the stream. I will edit and upload this video to YouTube so the people that missed it can watch it. Can watch uh, two hours of CAG Radio. I hope you're excited. <laughs> or I mean, everyone that's here obviously won't obviously want to listen to it. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming to CAG Radio. And uh, I will see you next time, which is uh, in-game or on the IRC for everyone. And uh, also, it will be obviously uh, uh, Saturday. For the next talk show. Yes, Maisie. Maisie, what is the problem here? Okay, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some last questions. Last questions for all these people that really want their last question. Come on, ask your last question right now and I will answer it as fast as I can. Just to like contradict everything I've said before. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, thank you thank you to you guys that are obviously enjoying the, the radio and uh, and I am uh, I'm really happy that you that you liked it. Uh, come on, send me some last questions. Will you play on a no water server on beta? Yes, I will. If one is activated, I will come over and play on it. Let's see. There we go. So yeah, I have to, ty I have to type in text. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a, it's, it's, this happens with a lot of radio uh, delays. Uh, you know, you have to send to the server and stuff like that. But yeah, what would I do for a Klondike bar? Is that from a commercial? I don't remember. What would I do for a Klondike bar? I would murder. I would murder someone from CAG. Do it. Uh, that epic delay. Uh, let's see. Okay, my god, there's people that want me to sing. What is this madness? Oh my god! What is this? No, I cannot do this. I cannot accept this. This challenge. I suppose you could call it a challenge, I suppose. Um, I'm way too thirsty, guys, to, to actually sing. I can't. I just, I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I will not, I will not sing. At least I will not sing today. Whoa, rain. Rain, uh... What, what 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 rain what rain what's what's the matter rain <laughs> uh my god there's a lot of stuff right here uh i can't i can't stream an interview with uh with warfork on twitch because my internet connection is not good enough for, for twitch <laughs> what the hell is wrong with rain today what um oh my god Someone wants me to speak with Arnold voice. I'll, 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 okay, I'll, I'll do some last minute. Oh shit, sorry. I'll do some last things. Uh, I will perhaps, if there's really an overwhelming demand, I will perhaps do a karaoke thing one day. There's an option for karaoke on, uh, on my software. And obviously people want to hear my Arnold, my, my horrible Arnold voice. So, uh, I will, I will, I will, I will I, let's, let's do it like this. I will say goodbye. I will say goodbye in the Arnold voice. So let's see. So let's see. Uh, I think there are no more questions right now. Let's look around. People are asking for stuff. Uh, yeah. Can you blah blah blah? Okay. So, and if there are no more last questions, 
uh, I will say goodbye with the Arnold voice. No. Goodbye. Don't worry, tomorrow I will do more. And the next week there will be Saturday, there will be another talk show. No. And uh, there will be karaoke maybe. But now this voice, it's horrible. No. Don't worry. It's the end of the it's the end of the gag radio. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is terrible. I can't do it. <laughs> oh man, I love the reactions. Again, yeah, it's the lag. It's the lag. I stopped already. Please. Don't blame me for doing this. You asked me to. <laughs> uh, make Batman. I can't do Batman. I can't do Batman. I'm sorry. Ah, um, gay from easy. No, thank you, Shadricky. I prefer not. Uh, I really need to get to writing these PMs. And I will not answer. I will not say goodbye in the Arnold voice again, obviously. Uh, Where are the other drugs going? <clears throat> Sorry. So, that was my Batman voice really quickly because I don't feel like doing it completely. Uh, Warfork said, who would answer Warfork? Uh, I think I answered already, did I? Oh my god. Wow, this channel is active. Uh, let's see, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Uh... And uh, I, I will be, I will, I'll be going now. I'll be going. Because, obviously, I should go. Wait, why is everyone dying right now? Did I, did I murder people with my, with, my, with my voice and blew up their, uh, their thing? <laughs> what are you going to get for getting.com? I have seen that website and it is amazing. It's an amazing website. I don't remember who did it. I think it was Downburst. Oh, wait, just a second. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do it later. Um, all right, yeah, sorry about that. I had to, had to reduce my volume for a second there. Uh, yeah, Downburst did. That was pretty, yeah, that was a pretty cool website. Oh my. Okay, okay, that's I think that's enough that's enough craziness for me. Guys, thank you so much for coming to CAG Radio. Next week on Saturday we will have another talk show if there is no other side problems. Uh again, if I cannot come on Saturday, I will maybe do it Wednesday. Something like that. I will I promise though I'll 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 try to make my promise and get a CAG radio up uh next week. Guys, thank you so much for coming. And uh, I think I'm going to end it here before I repeat myself 3,000 times, which I've already started doing. Uh, yeah, so I will send PMs to the winners of the giveaway. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm getting tired right now. And my mouth is just dry. That sounded weird. Don't worry, that's just from me being talking so much. All right. Let's do this. Farewell, ladies and gentlemen. Even though there's only gentlemen here, because... Because no, this is what this is how it is. Okay, guys, bye bye. <laughs>